Okay, hello everyone. Um, this is Bandit level 14 to level 15. Uh, so we're getting there. We're almost halfway. Uh, so pat yourself on the back for getting this far if you are watching this. Um, and yeah, the level goal is that the password for the next level can be retrieved by submitting the password of the current level to port 30,000 on localhost. Commands you may need to solve this level. SSH, Telnet, Netcat, um, OpenSSL, SCLINE, and Nmap. And it's got a whole host of helpful reading material, which I'm going to stress that you should read and watch um, because I'm not going to be able to talk too much about networking. Um, and so, to really get a, an understanding of how this stuff works, you're going to have to do a lot of outside reading. Um, that's just the way it is, I guess, with learning a lot of this, these things. It's okay to have like a, a surface level understanding of something, but, but obviously if you want to to really get a, um, a better handle on it, you, it's useful to know it a bit better. You know, I'm still learning. I'm still very, very novice myself, so uh, yeah, I don't want to butcher um, networking for you. Uh, <laughs> but just as a, a brief, very brief overview like normal, um, we are connected to Bandit 14. It's wanting us to submit the password, uh, which we we know where the password is, right? The password it told us in the last um, exercise is in Etsy Bandit Pass Bandit 14. So there's the password for Bandit 14. It wants us to submit this to the port 30,000 on localhost. Now. Ports and localhost I'll sort of briefly talk about. Um, localhost is just another way of, uh, it's a word that just means the, the computer, the machine that we're currently on. Um, and, it, and it refers to an IP address 127.0.0.1. Um, that's the, it's called a loopback address. It's basically an IP address that, that points to the machine that you're currently on. Um, and I mean IPs and things. This is all stuff that you would need to look up. It's it's a, um, a a logical address system, so that computers can talk to each other essentially um, when sending information across the internet. You know, you need to have some way of addressing the machines so that when you send some information, it goes ends up at the right place. Uh, and IP addressing is that is that. Um, is what we use to do that over the internet. Now, so the IP address of our own machine from our machine is 127.0.0.1. Um, this is used in diagnos like diagnostics and all sorts of things uh, and is really useful, but I'm not going to try and even remotely think that I could talk in more too much more detail about that. Ports. Um, so a port is like uh, is what you connect to essentially. You connect to a port, and it's it's information sent from a port and received by a port. That's the sort of communication. Um, ports are on your machine. There's thousands of ports on your machine. They're sort of logical um, by nature again. And for instance, whenever you open a new tab on your browser, you're you're opening a new port and making a new connection from that port to some web server. That's how your web browser tracks the, um, con the, the conversations for each each tab. And the way we connect uh, to servers, mostly, um, is through a thing called TCP, which is Transmission Control Protocol, if I'm not mistaken. That's like a standard for establishing a connection to a uh, to another machine via the internet and it's again you can go into a lot there's the TCP um, protocol is all you know out there um, on the internet I think that the RFC request for comments uh, where it's formally defined and I would recommend you go read that and yes so TCP is the sort of the, the means by which the standard by which we connect to these ports uh, so that our 
computers, machines can have conversations over the internet, uh, essentially. That's a, a super hashed up brief overview, um, but I think it's needed just to talk about Netcat in a second, which is what we're going to be using. So we need to send this password to port 30,000 on localhost. We need a way to connect to that port because at the moment how do we how do we do that we don't we don't really know this is where netcat nc comes in so let's just look at the man pages of netcat netcat is the tcp slash ip swiss army knife so they call it the swiss army knife because it's just got so many uh, useful features functions um, it's it's super super useful it can be used network debugging loads of things but essentially what we need to to know is that it allows us to create a TCP connection between us and a remote computer or local computer uh, if we give it the the host name slash IP address um, and the port with which we want to connect we can also use it to to create a listening we can listen on a port with netcat as well which is super super useful um, but what we need to use right now is just we need to use it to connect to a computer on a specified port um, so I'll show you how we do that you just saw the synopsis then so we're going to use netcat we need to specify the the machine which is localhost so we can actually write localhost that will resolve to 127.0.0.1 which is the IP address that points at the same at the, the local machine that we're on uh, which is in this case the same machine that's got this bandit 14 user um, okay so we're netcatting to localhost and next we specify the port which is 30,000 now it's not like SSH where we have to use the P flag in the man pages it just said sort of the, the machine and then the port so we just have to put a space and specify the port and that's it right that's all we have to do hit enter now we've come to this next line nothing's happened but that's because we've now established a connection it's it's very um, you know this isn't going to tell you lots of information so it's it's established a connection and it's waiting for us to send information across that connection so the information we want to send is the password for level 14 so we're going to do that, hit enter and you know this has been sent to that port where there's some where there's a, a very simple program that checks this string and if it's correct it sends back this right so this is the password for level 15 and yeah um, that's everything I guess I need to say on that uh, again I would stress to look on the, uh, the helpful reading material and apologies if I got anything a little bit wrong there okay I'll see you in the next one